Hi, my name is Zoe Burgess and I'm Head of Research and Development here at Untitled Bar in Dalston, East London. My role here at Untitled is to look after the menu development. I research the concepts and create the new drinks. I spend a lot of time looking into flavour profiles and flavour structure and figuring out how we can create new experiences. Untitled is inspired by Andy Warhol's Silver Factory. We also pull in some really interesting elements from Japan. We love their aesthetic, be it physical or flavour-wise. We launched the Moon Garden a couple of years ago with Asahi Super Dry. It's been a great partnership. We wanted a beer that would work well with our food and would be crisp, clean and precise in flavour. Today we're going to deconstruct Asahi Super Dry into five objects and those objects will tell us a story of its flavour profile and how the beer is to be served. We really enjoy sake here at Untitled, use it a lot in our cocktails as well as to serve with our food. In 1987, all of the beers in Japan had really strong, powerful, hoppy tastes. Asahi Super Dry was created because they were curious about the flavour profile of sake and if they could translate that into a beer. Asahi Super Dry is made from yeast, barley, hops and rice. Rice is a really important ingredient as it helps create the karaguchi, clean, dry, crisp taste. Perfect beer is more than just its ingredients and its taste. It's also about the technology that's involved in pulling the perfect pint. The Asahi beer tap helps create the golden ratio of 70% beer and 30% head. When you're creating a food and drinks menu, you want to look at how those ingredients in both food and drink work together. Asahi Super Dry is perfect in terms of its kei karakuchi taste, in that after every sip, it cleanses your palate, making you ready for another bite of food. Amatomashi is the art of hosting. We love to host at Untitled, and our most important tool for that is the concrete table. It allows us to sit groups of people together who may or may not know each other and that just allows people to meet each other and engage in their community. To sum up the five key objects we've talked about today, the sake, rice, high-tech beer tap, food and omotomashi.